The question has expired. Senator Ludlam. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, my question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Communications, I think uh, Senator Fifield. Um, one day before last year's federal election, Prime, uh, then Opposition Leader Tony Abbott said, and I quote, that there would be no cuts to the ABC or SBS. Ah. Since then, we've seen the $220 million cancellation of the Australian Network contact, uh, contract, the efficiency review on the ABC and SBS, uh, leading to the so-called down payment budget cuts, and now it looks as though 80 jobs are going from the ABC. Minister, will you now acknowledge that Mr Abbott's pre-election commitment was a flat-out lie, or would the minister instead prefer to read in some irrelevant and monotonous talking points to take up the two minutes that he's been allocated? Order. Order. Order on my right. Order on my left. The, minister, the Assistant Minister for Human Services and the Minister representing the Minister for Communications, uh, Minister Firefield. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President, uh, and I thank uh, Senator Ludlam uh, for his question. Uh, I think, as uh, the Prime Minister uh, made clear uh, in his capacity as opposition leader, uh, and uh, he has made clear uh, since uh, we've formed government, uh, that there is in fact uh, no Commonwealth government agency or department that should not look to be as efficient as it possibly can be. Uh, on this side of the chamber, on this side of the chamber, uh, we are very aware of the value of every taxpayer dollar. Uh, and this government uh, does not apologise uh, for wanting to ensure uh, that every uh, Commonwealth government department and agency uh, is as efficient uh, in their expenditure of taxpayer dollars as they can possibly be. Uh, and the ABC is no exception. And I would hope that the board of the ABC, and I'm sure that's the case, that the board of the ABC uh, and the management of the ABC, uh, including the managing director, also are of the view uh, that where you can make efficiencies that should be the case. Uh, as, uh, as colleagues would know, Minister Turnbull uh, announced uh, an efficiency review. Uh, we saw uh, in the budget that there was uh, a down payment uh, on uh, ABC efficiency. Uh, what is clear is that the ABC, uh, taking into account um, efficiencies, uh, should be able to provide uh, the programming that they do, uh, should be able to continue to provide the content that they do. Uh, in the wake of uh, the decision in the budget. Uh, the decision in the budget, um, uh, as is uh, I think clear to certainly colleagues on this side of the chamber, uh, relates to uh, back office uh, matters. It does not relate to on-air content. Uh, and I would hope that uh, colleagues opposite uh, could see their way to accepting what we, we take as a self-evident principle of government, uh, that uh, it's important to be good stewards of taxpayer dollars. Thank you, Minister. Senator Ludlam, supplementary Thanks, question. Mr. President, I guess it was option two. Um, the Minister for Communications, I understand, has today described the ABC's 80 job cuts as regrettable. And I also understand, although the Minister can confirm for this if you'd like, that uh, Minister Turnbull was cut out of the decision to appoint right wing hardliners Janet Albrechts and Neil Brown to the ABC Board Appointments Committee. Order, Order on my right. <laughs> Order. <laughs> Um, Senator Ludlam. Sorry. You, you can keep going. I won't to I'll just, the clock. Keep I'll going, just put Senator the actual Ludlam. question. Um, Minister, who does have portfolio responsibility for the ABC? Malcolm Turnbull or Rupert Murdoch? Minister. Um, <laughs> order on my right. Minister, you have to thank you, thank you, Mr. President, um, uh, and I thank uh, Senator Ludlam for his question. But I must say, uh, even by his uh, own standards, uh, uh, that question is really uh, below his usual, usual rhetorical um, flourishes. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, President, uh, there's a, there's a, let, let me let, let me let me perhaps address um, uh, the the actual uh, question uh, that Senator Ludlam. Well, Mr. Mr. President, I'm not going to take remotely seriously uh, for one second Senator Ludlam's proposition that uh, Mr. Murdoch uh, actually uh, controls policy in relation to the ABC. So I'm giving, so I'm giving uh, Senator Ludlam the benefit of the doubt that no one in this chamber was actually intended to take that as a serious proposition. Um, I, will, I, will in, I will instead uh, 
move to the other matter, uh, which is, uh, of course, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet uh, has responsibility uh, for uh, the issue in relation to positions on the nomination panel for the ABC board positions. Thank you, Minister. Senator Ludlam, final supplementary question. Thank you, uh, Mr President. Look, I agree with Minister Turnbull's comments that these job cuts are regrettable. It's remarkable that he didn't do anything about it. But will the government now commit to reversing the hundreds of millions of dollars in funding cuts to the ABC, which directly resulted in these regrettable job cuts. Minister. Mm. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, where uh, Senator Ludlam uh, gets his figures from, that there are hundreds of millions of dollars of uh, uh, cuts to the ABC budget. Uh, that, is, that is just completely wrong, uh, Senator Ludlam. Uh, so you may care to advise uh, uh, colleagues in this place that where you draw that figure from, because it has absolutely no basis in fact. Uh, but I'll come back, uh, Mr President, uh, to uh, where, where I started, and which is where I hope Senator Ludlam ends up, uh, which is uh, that we think uh, taxpayers work very hard for the dollars that they earn, uh, and we should be very mindful uh, of those dollars uh, that the parliaments require them to render to government in taxes. Uh, those dollars uh, are precious. Uh, they should be deployed to their best advantage. Uh, government agencies and departments should be as efficient as they possibly can be. Uh, it is clear we have a different view to you on that side of the chamber. I do not think there is yet any government department or agency that has reached administrative nirvana. They can all Thank you, do Minister. Better. The time for answering the question has expired.